Hello guys, Survival Technology here. Today we're going to be talking about setting up a Bluetooth cat for the Yaesu FT817 using an Android tablet as the main controller. Now the tools are exactly the same whether you're using the Yaesu FT817 or the FT817 ND. The Bluetooth cat that I'm using came from uh, India Kilo One uh, Zulu Yankee Whiskey, but he's not making them anymore. Uh, he stopped making them because the Chinese were flooding the market with cheap copies of them. Uh, so that goes again, guys. Support your, your amateur radio operators and your local businesses if you can. Um, so if you can't make your own, uh, and like I said earlier, the Yankee Oscar uh, 3 Golf Golf X-Ray has instructions on his website about how to do it. If you can't make your own, uh, I think the best bet right now is to buy the Blue Cat version from uh, Z Bravo Mic 2 software. Um, the Blue Cat versions are also available at many of the uh, ham radio retailers around. So, but uh, this is really simple to use. And look, it's not rocket science, guys. Um, all it does is replace the uh, USB or serial cat cable for the ASU. That's it. And uh, it takes its power straight from the 817 uh, cat socket. And all you do is take it and plug it in there. It's that simple. I don't know if you can see it in the uh, picture there, but uh, anyway, it's it's flashing. It's that simple. So now we've got the cat controller in the back, in the cat port of the 817. Uh, we've got a uh, a small antenna, antenna in the back of the 817. Uh, the next thing we'll need to do is go to the uh, Android shop or uh, whatever it's called now, Play Store, uh, or go to the Yankee Oscar uh, 3 Golf Golf, Golf, Golf X-Ray website and uh, take the uh, working version from there. When you have that software installed, um, go ahead and turn on your Bluetooth connection. Make sure that your uh, Bluetooth interface and your FT817 are on. And you'll need to go ahead and uh, search for Bluetooth devices. The passcode for this particular device that I have is 1234. It may be different for the one that you build, how you program it, or if you buy the Blue Cat, I'm not sure. Um, but uh, the instructions that you get with your interface will have the, uh, the passcode for your particular device. Once you've paired your Bluetooth device with your Android, tablet, or smartphone, you can go ahead and start the software. It may ask you to enter the passcode. Go ahead and select the correct device, enter the passcode if it asks for it, and uh, the software will start and you'll have full control of your FT817. Now we can go through some of the uh, controls that uh, the software enables. Uh, it basically gives you basic control of frequency changing uh, uh, bands, uh, entering the frequency itself, uh, and some other controls and things like that that you that are found through the uh, CAT interface. Now I'm using the Samsung Galaxy 8.9, Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9 for my ham radio things. Uh, I use it for CAT control of the 817. I also use it for uh, PSK 831 or 63, uh, SSTV, uh, weather facts. Uh, I use basically the Samsung Galaxy Tab 8.9 for everything ham related. 
and it, it works pretty well. It's not very powerful, but it's got gobs of memory. It's got an excellent screen, uh, and it's got connectivity, uh, 3G connectivity, uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, everything that anyone would need. Hey, that's about it, guys. Um, I hope this video has been helpful and uh, opens the eyes of some people to uh, the power of Android and Bluetooth and uh, really bringing radio into the next level. Rock and roll. Thanks for watching. Ciao.